hi everyone how are you all in this video I'm going to show you how to install how to have a properly working graphics driver for your Intel GPU Intel graphics chip if you are using any of the Intel if you know you have Intel graphics chip or Intel graphics card you are using Intel GPU then you have to install some OpenGL texture compression library on top of what you already have in your Ubuntu system because the OpenGL texture compression library is a, is a future of OpenGL or this is a proprietary future so Ubuntu by default does not ship this feature you have to install it separately by yourself from the source code uh, which are available from online or you have to compile the source code but you don't have to do it <laughs> fortunately because with every when every time I install new Ubuntu, I already compiled the source code for OpenGL Texture Compression Library and make a package of the binary and just upload it to my blog so that other people can use them. So basically, what you have to do after you have after you install your Ubuntu to in a, you have to install Opel GL texture compression library so to see because Ubuntu ships with a lighter version of the OpenGL library which is free but you still uh, if you want to have like fully featured OpenGL you need to install this OpenGL texture compression so basically you just have to download it from my blog So we just open. You have to go to ontheinblogspot.com.au and you can scroll down and look for ontheim downloads. And here you'll find OpenGL texture compression library. And here you have four different Ubuntu versions. I'm using currently using 1510 Ubuntu so it will work with any Ubuntu distributions such as Kubuntu, Ubuntu or Ubuntu Mate, Aguno Ubuntu yes. and it will also work for both 64 bit and 34 bit 32 bit operating system so just download the file and I'm going to save it on my desktop. That's it. The thing is, if you install 64 bit Ubuntu, it will not install 32 bit version of the OpenGL. So you have to install 32 bit to make sure 32 bit games or applications to work. <clears throat> so first thing you do install the missing packages for example Mesa utils this package uh, provides some utility applications such as to check which OpenGL version you have uh, which version of driver you are using so we are gonna use install mesa utils as well as lib mesa I'm not mesa lib gl mesa gl1 mesa dry not sure and to have 32 bit so we just have that one i36 means 32 bit version of the i think the proper way to install the packages 
using a graphical application like Synaptic. So we are gonna open up Ubuntu Software Center and search for Synaptic. Synaptic is a full featured graphical package manager. It lists all the files or packages available from the Ubuntu, Ubuntu repositories. So just It's also very easy after installing the OpenGL Texture Compression Library. I'm gonna also show you how to install latest graphics drivers on your Ubuntu system. What do I mean by latest graphics drivers? Latest graphics drivers are development version of the drivers and these drivers will have some bleeding edge features but also comes with come with some <clears throat> bugs and things like that so it's up to you you can try latest driver to see whether it's working for you or not so we installed synaptic just start synaptic package manager you can run it from the here Maximize the window. Don't show this dialog for me, please. So we are gonna see what things. I'm gonna search for Deep Mesa, Deep GL1. So, few things you have to install. I guess you have to install this bit. I already installed th these are the libraries for OpenGL and i386 is for 32-bit version of the library and uh, this one is 64-bit so if you are using 64-bit system these two will be already installed and you need to separately install these two so what do you do to install just right click like then mark for installation and you apply and it will ask for your password and you will install the drivers and everything install everything packages and you also install mesa utils this package will provide some uh, helping uh, command line application to see which OpenGL version you have and things like that also what features are available in your OpenGL so op open G so that's it once you make sure you have all the 32 bit and 64 bit graphics drivers are all installed Next, you install the texture compression library, the one we just downloaded from on theme. Here I have put downloaded, is downloaded in the desktop. So just right click on the archive file and extract here. So just open up the folder. You can have a look at the readme if you want. I think uh, we just have to do so before do you do anything you have to make sure you go to the edit preferences behavior make sure you select ask each time for executable text file and double click the run run in terminal or no, I would do run let's see whether it's so now it will ask for your password because you're gonna copy these files to your systems and this one 
is the 32 bit version of the file structure compression is to 64 bit this is a script we'll just copy these files to your system folders so yeah. enter installing packages is everything is done and okay so these files are copied now how to see whether I have the texture compression library now or not so you open up a terminal now we enter glx info this uh, common line application will give information about opengl version and things like that you scroll up you see all the opengl features showing up so now i have opengl vendor string opengl open source center i have intel Rail graphics card I have OpenGL 3.3 and MESA is the OpenGL implementation. Now to see whether I have OpenGL texture compression, just type GLX info and a space and this grab uh, S3. It should give you this strings. You have OpenGL S3. S3 is the texture compression library. Now you have properly working OpenGL. Uh, yeah, we can check. Whatever. Do we have Blender here? No. That's it. Now, if you want to install latest drivers in your Ubuntu then it's not that difficult it's very easy you have to just I guess all latest drivers are provided by OEBF PPA you have to type OEBF PPA in the Google and the first link you get that's the website so we are gonna copy scroll down until you see this this is the address of the driver uh, repository this is the address of the <coughs> latest drivers repository we copy this and we have to go system settings software and updates so we're gonna add this latest drivers repository to our system you have to add and paste it here and add source and that's it then you will see here wave of ppa somewhere is yeah here now uh, it will ask for reload just reload it will updating the package list once it's updated you'll be able to see um, different packages are ready to upgrade then you upgrade different packages and you have to because this latest drivers will replace the OpenGL texture compression you again have to install the texture compression library from here after you finish installing it so now to install latest graphics driver open up Synaptic again package manager and only thing you have to do now mark all up i don't think i'm gonna so you can go to the origin and search for oebf path oebf ppa graphics so oebf is the repository of the latest driver so you'll see many packages are ready to upgrade so what do you have to do here 
you have to mark for upgrade and here just So, as long as you see uh, an explain, exclaiming this symbol, you just have to right click and mark for upgrade. If you don't like to go through individual packages, you could do what you could do, mark all upgrades. It will upgrade other packages, not just graphics drivers. <coughs> Now apply to install all the new packages. It should be able to finish. It's gonna take a while. So basically, yeah, when it's done. You will have new drivers, you can check your new drivers using GLX info, here you will see, you will see devil, mesa and devil, devil means developments, uh, developments means here uh, latest version of the driver. Then once you are done with that, you have to install test a compression library and you will have latest drivers. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you will have a good Ubuntu experience. Thank you.